For the next 24 hours, I'm only gonna be consuming orange food and drink. Bought myself a beautiful prisoner outfit. I may be guilty, but Jesus made me free. Let's get some breakfast. Honestly, brethren, got no idea what to have for breakfast. Only egg yolks. Obviously, breakfast is up first. Now, to have breakfast, thinking of orange food for breakfast, egg yolks, pumpkin. I'm thinking anything I have already in the fridge or cupboard that is orange, I will consume. In terms of meat and protein, I have no idea. Maybe some orange chickens. <laughs> I'm thinking maybe some orange beef. Honestly, no idea. I'm keen. I obviously did the 24 hours red only food and drink challenge, I think maybe like a year or two ago, but I'm back to do orange with in color order. I always love a challenge always try and love eating healthy and getting creative with orange food and drinks so come on the ride of eating orange only food and drink apologies that i sound like an absolute twat i've got a bit of a cold but the show must go on i know what we're having we've got some of the most delicious eggs these are open pasture free range eggs roaming on pastures every day and as well is we've got some kimchi in the fridge i'm pretty sure people have kimchi and eggs but look i'm just gonna do it and last but not least we've got an orange juice thank you lord something to water down all of this goodness. It'd be an egg yolk omelet with kimchi and an OJ. Oh, and one orange for, for dessert of breakfast. First things first, and that's we're gonna separate the egg yolks and the and the egg whites. Bro, you, you cannot tell me the egg yolk is yellow. That is orange, my friend. Look how big these eggs are, these are huge. That's what happens when you get natural chickens that actually lay eggs that are hormone free. Beautiful. Egg yolks there, egg whites there, got the juice, got this interesting kimchi with 40,000, oh no, it's just cabbage with a lot of interesting things. Okay. And then an orange, an orange and orange juice. And these are some of the finest pastured eggs. These cost 14 bucks, 14 bucks for actual eggs. Now that is, I wouldn't say a rip off. Interesting fact as well. Chickens have a thing called a cloaca, which means they poo and lay eggs, I think, out of the same hole. So I just come to this YouTube channel and learn eggs in. So I'm obviously only eating orange food for the entire day, and I just realized something. Chief, do you want to say hello? Do you want to say hello? <laughs> Chief, you're orange, buddy. Hey, buddy. Oh, you do some licking. Look, I'm orange like you. I can have kimchi eggs and a bit of chief. Look at the camera. Look at the camera. <laughs> you say hello. You say hello. <laughs> oh, brother. Thank you, Jesus. Beautiful way to start the day here. We've got the egg yolks, the orange, and this super kraut kimchi thing, and an orange juice. The groovy thing about this thing is that it has the fruit of the spirit. Well, the vegetables of the spirit. <laughs> Love and peace and vegetables, it says on it. That might've been the, uh, the the tenth fruit of the spirit. I don't think I've ever had just an uh, egg yolk. This might need some of this on it. How good are oranges? You can both eat and drink them. Obviously, I haven't posted a while on YouTube, and it's just literally because I've been busy with work, but I plan to get back into it. So if you want to see more videos, let me know in the comments, because I genuinely have missed posting. This stuff is fantastic. It's obviously cab cabbage with a bunch of lactobacillus. Basically, everything's organic. They must have made this just for this video. Now, has any of you ever had orange and eaten orange while drunk orange? Does that make sense? I don't think I've ever done this in my life. It's a bit like the other day. Someone said it was weird to eat chicken and eggs because like you're having the mum and the baby. <laughs> this is exactly what I need, the vitamin C too. I'm about to bust this suit. What number am I? Prisoner something or other. This is honestly so hard to eat. When I played footy, I don't remember oranges being this hard to eat. Half time, get the box of oranges, the tub of oranges. I used to smash about a kilo of oranges and I couldn't run around at half time. And then after the game, I used to smash about the same in snakes. I'm squirting it everywhere. All right, that's my orange breakfast done. I had an orange beverage as well, which I didn't think I'd get. Now lunch is interesting. And what I'm gonna have for the rest of the day, I might have to Uber Eats and get some lunch. I gotta do a lot of editing for the podcast, MXTC, check it out. So if I don't have time, I think I'll just get like a butter chicken or something Indian. 
I feel like that's quite an easy way to, uh, cost effective but efficient way to, um, to get your orange colours in. And I'll be back at lunchtime. Time for some orange lunch. I'm gonna just get some, something takeaway. Cannot be bothered cooking. I'm thinking something of the Asian cuisine that normally they've got some, like, butter chicken or maybe a bit of Indian, maybe a bit of Thai. I don't know, some, could even get an orange chicken. A meal, not a chicken that's orange. I've just ordered a tikka chicken, so just hopefully that it's orange of the orange variety and not yellow or red. We'll find out, it's too late now. And we'll tuck in. Lunch just arrived. Could be considered brown, but I'm gonna say it's orange because there is orange bits in it. It's gonna hide the white rice because of the rice that they've given me is white, but if you mix it together, then it becomes orange. That's orange, yeah? Look, there's, that's that's orange there, so I can only, I gotta suck that part out. It's technically orange. We got ourselves like a tikka chicken or something. Came in, a, in plastic, but I put it in a bowl, so it's easy to eat and doesn't spill. Hopefully it tastes good, because in terms of protein, I think this might be the only protein I get for the day. Oh, it's a bit cold. Brother, oh my goodness. There's so much spicier than I thought. Oh, I wasn't expecting that. How much chili they put in. Oh. Solid feed though, for orange. I really didn't think I'd get orange, an orange lunch. I still have my orange stuff on, it's just tied against the right around the waist like a real prisoner. Let me know in the comments what, what other orange food I could have eaten. As some of you may know, I did attempt to eat the world's hottest chili. Uh, many years ago. I don't know if you say I failed, but I think I conquered it. This is nowhere as near as hot and spicy as that. However, it is quite hot. I just wasn't expecting it. Normally they're pretty mild. It's basically just chicken, curry and rice. Also let me know in the comments if you want me to do yellow, because yellow technically is next. I actually had planned to do a different video today because I woke up not feeling great. I decided to do this because this is something I have been wanting to continue and go through all the, the colors if possible. And I did enjoy the first one, except I got absolutely stooged on dessert. I remember that. This is dangerous wearing a white top and uh, eating orange food. This place said they do organic chicken. I'm all for restaurants that serve organic chicken. You know it's hot when it's like 12 degrees outside but you begin sweating because this is so hot. Whoa, what's that? Johnny Cash must have done the same video and then come up with the concept of the burning ring of fire because that's exactly what I'm gonna have tomorrow after that. I'm now heading to the shops to get some dessert and some dinner. Dinner, I reckon it's salmon. Salmon's a great call and some vegetables. Now dessert, I'm gonna go for some orange fruit. I'm not gonna be wearing this in public. I don't wanna look like I've just escaped from Alcatraz and, and have the entire neighborhood coming after me. So I decided to take this off and put something a little more appropriate on for community events and community shopping. I'm gonna go see if salmon is orange and not pink. I'm gonna grab some orange vegetables and then finish the day with some beautiful orange fruit. There's tons to choose from. And the good thing about today is that orange fruit has a lot of vitamin C. Well, this is orange. Well, this chicken is orange, yeah. Orange sausages, look at that, delicious. No, I think that the salmon's orange. You can't say that that is not orange. That is orange, brother and even a prawn, that's orange. Some caviar, that's orange too. Pumpkin, look, dinner, plenty. Even these roses, I can take a bunch of them. Right, cooking dinner, got the veggies in, looking good. Dinner looks absolutely beautiful. We've got salmon. Now this is wild caught salmon and I cannot believe what this cost me. This cost me $20 for 200 grams. That is phenomenal. So this better be good. We've got pickled carrots, sweet potato and swedes. Now I don't even know what a swede is but it's between a turnip and a potato I think. I actually really hope this is delicious because it's phenomenal. This is actually the moment I've been waiting for to taste the salmon now. If I'm not alive tomorrow, you'll know why. Japanese can do it, I can do it. My raw salmon tastes like nothing. I don't know if that means it's good or not. This is phenomenal salmon though. There's one thing that I never got about like Japanese restaurants or Japanese cuisine. You go there and salmon for like the smallest part costs like 15 bucks and it's not even, it's just farm salmon. This was wild caught, but this is so good salmon. 
I don't think I've ever had salmon and carrots. Bro, there's a spilling everywhere. Spiced carrot, organic fermented vegetable. Carrots, currants, sea salt, cumin, and turmeric. Bro, turmeric's a hack for orange stuff. You put on anything. Some of you actually might say that's pink, but that's definitely orange. That's orange, brother. That is orange. What the heck's a swede as well? Something that doesn't cook properly. Those are dirt. I think if you cook the salmon, it will turn pink. Ugh, I forgot to put this back on after my shower. Oh, now they're cold. Bruh, think ahead, buddy. This thing is so tight to eat. I dropped food, I can't even pick it up. I know exactly what it would be like getting consumed and wrapped up by boa constrictor. I don't really know what I think of a Swede. Interesting fact, Swede is also called a rutabaga. No idea what that means, but sounds like African or something. Underrated combination, salmon and sweet potato. Delicious, raw salmon, winner. Just like the Japanese do it, maybe even better because I'm Italian. Swede's not a fan of. Maybe I cooked them wrong, but tastes like absolute earth. Like, I may as well be a worm. Final meal of the day. We've got some cantaloupe and papaya. That is beautiful and orange. Got a lovely little backdrop here as well, which is fantastic. Kind of makes me feel like I'm in interrogation or, or actual prison, but I, I reckon the more I've eaten, this has got smaller and smaller, or I've just got swoller and swoller, so. Bit of cantaloupe, that is orange. And also have some of the most underrated fruit I reckon there is in existence, and that's Papaya. Papaya is phenomenal. So what a day it's been to uh, consume all orange food, basically just being a mukbang. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video of basically me just eating. There are orange foods out there that you can consume and that are delicious. I honestly thought today would be a challenge, but we absolutely nailed it. If you want to see me do another color, let me know in the comments. Make sure you like and subscribe. Let me know what you want to see next. Head over to Jakey Ross Plays for all my gaming stuff. I post on there regularly if you're missing out. Me just playing games, whatever you want to see, I'll play. Praying that my poo is not orange tomorrow. That is my main concern right now. But I hope you enjoyed it, guys. I'll catch you soon. Thank you.